praise him incessantly forever without ceasing for his arms that have never been too short to save. So love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince of Peace. These are the days of Elijah where we must beat the sword into the sickle to learn the ways of war no more, to change our conditional love which has never been divine into unconditional love that really gives a hoot and won't pollute our souls. And so in this hour, it is time to realize that wide is the way unto hell for loveless hearts. Wide is the way unto hell with conditional love as we practice uh, turning on and off our love like an ashamed, uh, <laughs> always repentful love that was never sincere, always shallow. They cannot open its arms and receive the great flood of bottomless ocean of the sapphire sea, the crystalline blue sea of the bottomless ocean of his adoration for all of us that will embrace love and unite with them. And so in this hour, it is written that the Lord God in the latter days would send forth his messenger of his covenant, one like Moses, Deuteronomy 18:18, 18, 18, Acts 3:21, for the latter days. And in the latter days, that messenger would give the Lord's message of Malachi 3:1 to prepare his way by his unadulterated word of love. And that would immediately cause the shattering of the power of the holy people as he reasserts that he is the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. And that our Lord God, the true one, that is not the God of this world, is the Lord God of all mankind. And that all nations have become his. And that he sees not our sin because he says unto all of us, I love you this much, that I have forgiven you. And he says, I am your God. You are all my people. If you have your love alive as a little child, Christ said that all of our sin, even blasphemy against him, is all forgiven. Only sin against the Holy Spirit, which is love living within us. That is Christ's secret name of Mark 4. All will bow unto the name of love, and all shall uh, confess love whom the Lord is. For he is the blessed, the beloved, and the adored. And so the message of Malachi 3, 1, it shatters the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, in the, these days where his message had to open for that message of Malachi 3, 1, or else the Lord would be kept in reserve in heaven and could not re return, as Acts 3, 21 declares. So in this hour, it is time to rejoice. For the Lord God proves that he is not a respecter of men and has favorites like the Christians have always believed. Truth is, they stole all the Hebrew books and then they stole the Hebrew identity and said, we are Israel and all the prophecy was for us and it was never so. Uh, in these latter days, what has happened because the covenant has come the seven trumpets sounded first, the first is last, the last is first, and all nations have become the Lord's, and now the Lord will be able to pour out his spirit upon all flesh, as Joel 2 and Acts 2 foretold, because his word has always been written for all mankind, but identities were switched, and the promise was stolen of the younger brother from the older, as surely as Jacob stole Esau's blessing from Isaac, because he was half blind, and he tricked the father into giving the blessing to the wrong one. So many years ago, Israel was faded away, but praise God, in these days of the covenant, two things have happened. Now there is no other faith on earth that is valid anymore, for the faith of unconditional love is the only true faith. Uh, there has never been any divinity with unconditional love where we arise at the as a puppet master uh judgmental and condemning and uh 
you know, people like me, uh, I got religious people calling me Satan. And, uh, but the bottom line is the God of this world is a false God if he is not the good shepherd over all the flocks of man as the Bible declares and uh, declares that he is the God of all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. So in this hour more than ever, it is time to get with the program of praise. I am the messenger of uh, love from the north, Isaiah 41. And so I say unto all people of love that it is time uh, evermore let all of the frosts and snows and lightnings and clouds and mountains and hills, let them sing forth the sweetest praise unto he who is our beloved, the blessed and the adored. For it is that majesty of majesties alone who is the love of the ages and our Lord thereof. And let all things growing upon the earth bless, bless you, O living Lord of love as a child, along with all of the springs and the lakes, as they all highly extol your love always without any end. Nor should the seas or the rivers ever dare holding back their steady flow of gratefulness as they join their admonishments all together with all of the whales and all of the creation, creation's creatures that move within their waters and all believers uh, of love as a child shall now declare that they shall evermore exalt he who is our maker and praise him evermore as he brings forth liberty and spiritual freedom by removing the yoke of uh, bad unloving religious bondage from off of us as it is written in Jeremiah 31 as he removes all the shame and guilt from all people believing his kingdom age new covenant and every day O Lord of our liberty let the birds of the air and the beasts and the cattle bless you as they call upon you O beloved love of always with all of their might for making all things right for you O Lord alone alone are the Lord of the brightest light of glory's most glorious brightness. And neither should any of the sons of men ever hold their tongues as all Israel and all mankind now lifts up your name of love much higher than the highest peak of the Mount of Olives. And upon this latter day mountain we must be the sword into the sickle to learn the ways of war no more to change our conditional love that has never truly been loved at all into unconditional love which alone is uh, and all that have any conditions to any of their love immediately as soon as we become a puppet master and have any strings attached to our love then there is none whatsoever and as all of our deserved worship flows around the earth. Let every servant and every priest of the Lord, let them gladly bend their knees unto his everlasting charity, his everlasting love that comes in like a flood. Say to that flood of love to stop in the middle of our dried up gorge. It will not obey. Love will come rushing through the empty valley of our dead trees and our roots that need water and he's going to rip out rip out our deepest roots and start all over and so know that in this hour that every spirit of righteousness and joy overflowing with the happiness of love will always happily remain holy and humble within their hearts as they begin singing like the birds the highest praises of love for he who is the sender thereof uh, for there is no good man no not even one Romans 3.10 but yet most of us are good because Christ love is living in most people uh, so it, let not your love wax totally cold and let your embers go right out then we would be a castaway 
cast into the outer darkness of lovelessness where there would be weeping and much gnashing of teeth. And so far beyond infinity and far beyond that will love always go because love never ends, it is endless. And uh, But where there is conditions, love does end, proving that there has never been any divine love whatsoever upon planet Earth. And so shall it be in this hour of love's restoration of all things through his latter day Daniel, who I am, Daniel 12, 13. I have embraced that destiny because I've known from open eyed dreams and visions in a trance. I've known from hearing the audible voice of God and I've known from prophecy, my uh, lot in life, that I would embrace this destiny. And so uh, it's time to never stop singing love songs unto him alone, he who is our love, if we will but have him flowing in action. And for he has rescued us from, uh, from hell upon earth, willing to save us from the grimiest hand of the most dismal spirit of deathly death, while delivering us from our unloving ways, if we will beat our sword into the sickle. For wide is the way unto hell, with paved with conditional love, where we practice letting our love go cold and go out. And wide is the uh, way unto destruction, but narrow is the path unto heaven with conditional love. And that is why Christ said that, I tell you truly, unless you become as little children with your love alive again unconditionally as kids do have, then uh, you could never inherit the kingdom of heaven. And so the mystery is over in this hour. So we should always be giving our deepest thanks unto our Lord, for he is extremely good and his mercy endures forever. And as our Father of lights lives, our living love of always, so shall it be that all who is worshiping him in the truest truth will realize and be able to shine as the stars in these days when the wheat can no longer grow with the tares, that everything I, Daniel, the latter-day Elijah, am declaring is all true, and all uh, religion has nothing but desolate heritages. Isaiah 49, 8 proclaimed that that would be the final um, judgment <laughs> of the Lord. But now it is time that we can prosper when the veil has been removed from off all the nations from this latter-day mountain that is covered with spiritual food as Isaiah 25 foretold of this channel. For who shall come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away, Christ asked of his latter-day Elijah, uh, who would come forth line by line, precept by precept, as a destroying storm, even as a hailstorm, to tear down and pulverize all distortion of faiths, of uh, bad understandings that have twisted truths into becoming uh, evil, wicked lies. And so it is time to turn it all around and to turn back the battle of hell, of love. It is a battle of love and we fight not against powers and principalities, but against spirits, spirits, the unloving spirits of each other. Truth is, people, none of us can love a God that we cannot see if we cannot begin loving people that we can see. For all of creation has been groaning with great expectation for the revelation of who we are. We are beings of love. Jesus said that we are gods in John 10. I tell you, we're angels or demon wannabes uh, in the flesh. The Bible says we will be as the angels, neither male nor female in the afterlife. The Bible says that the glory of his latter house, which is us, shall be greater than that of the former. And the Bible says uh, the first are last and the last are first. We were last because we have been fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of love who is our light of love thereof. And so it's time that we need to delightfully extend much overflowing thankfulness 
unto the risen Lamb of God, who is the kingly lion-hearted lamb and the lamb-hearted lion. And in this hour, he is roaring as softly as a little itty-bitty kitty's soft as purr, because as he has unveiled his truest heart of hearts, uh, blood candy red, re candy apple red, <laughs> blood red, when he reveals that since he was slain before the foundation of the earth, it is time to come in alignment with that, with that truth, so that we can all see that we are truly the sons and daughters of God, and that people, all I can tell you is that we are eternal, and there is nothing that we can do to inherit that eternal aspect of ourselves because that is our heritage and uh, it came to pass that I dared to believe the Bible um, of things to come concerning the future of my sons and daughters and the work of my hands command ye me thus saith the Lord God Almighty Isaiah 45 and I did and I, I demanded I wanted a fleece I wanted a fleece like Gideon I wanted the ground wet and the uh, the fleece dry and then I wanted the opposite I wanted such a supernatural sign because I discerned from everything happening in my life from signs and wonders and dreams and prophecy um, many years of being prepared first I wrote 200 books now I've created 11,000 videos and I've just started so it's time to realize that the Lord is bringing forth the fruition of all of his own prophecy, for he is revealing that he is the good shepherd who has arisen, and now he is fully, Amos 7's uh, pro prophecy has manifested, for he has revealed himself as the sower of the seeds of love who has overtaken his very own end time revelator, his reaper. And all I am to reap is to reassign our desolate heritages so that uh, here on out we don't have to be wasting our time with unloving religion that was never made in the image of God. Everybody's got a false friggin' God.